this is a Paramount movie? Hey, yo, what's good, bro? Hey, hey, we watching Interstellar, man. Come sit down with me, bro. Get your snacks and stuff. I've seen this movie one time a long time ago, and uh, I don't even know if I was like fully paying attention, but I just, I know that I've seen it. But yo, if you like see my fully reaction to this movie, other movies I do, TV shows I do, you can click the link down below in the description to my Patreon, bro. Damn, I forgot one more thing. Yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Melo. That boy had one of them like deja vu dreams or nope. I think it's a different name for it, but I've been having a lot of those lately. Well, yeah, maybe that's because grandpa's a little too close to being one himself. Hit your butt back in bed, Murph. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, if I could wake up like that, bro, that would be the greatest day ever. Just to wake up to look out the window to a basic view, but get epic music, bro. <laughs> While you just half asleep, still got drool on your lip, like, yo. Yes, I can't describe it. It was just constant, just that steady blow of dirt. Well, when we set the table, we always set the plate upside down. My goodness, I love how they're shooting this, bro. It's making it seem like it's real, like this is a documentary. Let me guess, is your ghost? I knocked it off my shelf. Why are you eating like that? <laughs> Timothy Chalamet's in this movie? <laughs> Yo, I've never noticed that before, huh? Well, it's not very scientific, Murph. You wanna talk science? Don't just tell me that you're afraid of some ghost. No, you gotta go further. You gotta record the facts, analyze, get to the how and the why, then present your conclusion. Parent-teacher conferences. Why don't you go check out the ghost with her? Right, he's gonna plant corn with the rest of us. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Repopulating the earth. Why don't you start minding your own business? <laughs> what, was that something in the news that they said we needed to do? Repopulate the earth? They said, bro, go get it in as soon as you can, bro. We need some babies. Y'all haven't been doing it enough. How am I supposed to pass out here? I don't think I figured out. Man, I love Matthew McConaughey, even though sometimes I can barely understand him. Get in. Let's go. What about the flat tire? Get in the damn truck with your negative Sky Lee. Hey, yo, what's up, everybody? I'm just so happy and grateful to say that today's video is brought to you and sponsored by Private Internet Access. Now, what is Private Internet Access? I'm glad you asked. Private Internet Access allows you to access restricted content from across the world, while also protecting you from prying eyes of hackers, internet service providers, and others that can view your personal data. And what is a VPN? Man, you just asking all the right questions today. A VPN is a virtual private network which hides your IP address and safeguard your internet connection through an encrypted tunnel. See, it's like this, using the internet without private internet access is like having a window in your shower. A lot of people can see you playing with that shower head. Like, put that shower head down, bro. And it's like, what are you playing with a shower head for? Were you putting it in the back? And also private internet access comes with loads of entertainment benefits. You know, with a lot of these different streaming services like Netflix, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus, and others, they all have different libraries according to your location. Like this is a great example. So apparently Lord of the Rings is unavailable on Netflix for those of you who are outside in the US. I didn't even know Lord of the Rings was on Netflix to begin with. So <laughs> that is nice. But if you want to change your location to the US, Using private internet access, it will immediately be available on your Netflix. Private internet access can help you by overcoming a lot of those restrictions by changing your IP address to any of the 84 countries that they have on their servers. And for a lot of people, don't worry. Private internet access does not record or store your data whatsoever. Now, private internet access is also available for all platforms, Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, and more. And you can also protect an unlimited amount of devices at the same time. Now, I don't know if you know this, but whenever you connect to the internet on public Wi-Fi, you put your personal information at risk. And I don't know about you, but I, yo, I definitely don't want nobody knowing my search history. <laughs> Click the link down below in the description if you're interested in using private internet access, which will give you 83% discount on using the service, which is about $2.03 a month 
which is a great deal, man. And you also get four extra months completely free. But with all that being said, everybody, let's go ahead and get into the video. Let's get it. Yo, that boy Hans Zimmer is the GOAT, bro. He the GOAT. I don't give a damn, bro. That boy is over John Williams for me. He the GOAT. <laughs> yo, yo, what's your favorite Hans Zimmer score? How do you even come up with stuff like this? Faster, Tom, I'm this dude just knows how to make a lot of stuff just seem so epic and beautiful, man. Well, I guess that answers the old if I ask you to drive off a cliff scenario. What the hell is that drone doing over here? And y'all really just hacked that drone like that? Is there gonna be any freaking consequences for this? How long do you think it's been up there? Daily missing control went down, same as ours. I'm gonna give it something socially responsible to do. So how's this work? You guys come with? And he really left. drove this the truck one. with an empty tire. And I guess he had to stop off at the Asian fighter plane store. With outstanding solar cells, it's Indian. He's gonna make an excellent farmer. Ignore how I got over to the other side of the desk. Magic. The university only takes a handful. They don't really have the resources. I to... still pay my taxes. <sighs> Come on. You're a well-educated man, Coop. And a trained pilot. And an engineer. And Tom. Uneducated farmers. So they're just trying to rush them and force them into the fields, man. Need food that damn bad. Y'all haven't made any machines yet? Because I know that this takes place in somewhat in the future or whatever. I don't know. Y'all don't have any machines that can freaking do some gardening and some farming. The section on the lunar landings. Yeah, it's one of my old textbooks. Explaining how the Apollo missions were fake to bankrupt the Soviet Union. I believe it was a brilliant piece of propaganda that the Soviets bankrupted themselves, pouring resources into rockets and other useless machines. I know there's a lot of people in real life that don't believe that stuff either. Like, why? Like, why don't you believe it? I guess some people think I'm gullible for believing it, but I'm just like, why lie about something like that? Murph got into a fistfight with several of her classmates over this Apollo nonsense. So we thought it would be best to bring you in and see what ideas you might have. Dumb they're always so quick to fight. Like, you really about to fight over that? Like, I can roast you and your mama, but you're gonna fight me because I believe that the landing was real while your dumb ass think it's fake? Well, I ain't gonna say you dumb, but you just think it's fake? Like you said, I count the spaces. What? I mean, the house was built on magnetic ore. We'd have seen this the first time we switched on the tractor. Explorers, pioneers, not caretakers. I just love this dude's voice, man. I wish that I could like imitate his voice, man. But they got some great casting in this movie already. Well, we used to look up in the sky and wonder at our place in the stars. Now we just look down and worry about our place in the dirt. That's a good line right there. I wonder how they were able to get the dirt like this, like it was a real dust storm. Yeah, well, in my day, people were too busy fighting over food to even play baseball. Dang, so y'all had wars of people fighting over food? School says you're gonna follow my footsteps. I like what you do. Golly, that's like a mega dust storm. Tom, you guys shut your windows? Mm, see them lines right there? Those things look weird. It looked like the dust spelled something out. It's not Morse, Murph, it's binary. Thick is one, thin is zero. Coordinates. <sighs> Grandpa will be back in a couple hours, Murph. Grandpa will be home in a while, tell him I call him on the radio. What the hell? <laughs> Didn't you bring the bolt cutters? That's my girl. Yo, what's up with these damn fake Star Trek lens flares, bro? <laughs> whoa, whoa! Not arm. My daughter's in the car. Don't be afraid. They just got that dude just constantly monitoring the whole thing. Where did you find those coordinates? You're taking a risk. He's an ex-military security. They're old and their control units are 
unpredictable. It's pretty clear you don't want any visitors. Why don't you just let us back up from your fence and we'll be on our way. Damn, you all up in her ear? Like, back up. I have to melt her ear off. Explain to me how you found this facility. It's kind of hard to explain. This back in secret. Oh, okay. Because public opinion wouldn't allow spending on space exploration. Not when you're struggling to put food on the table. Yeah, and also with some people knowing that y'all could have blew up a lot of people in the population. We'll find a way, Professor, who we always have. And your daughter's generation will be the last to survive on Earth. Murph was feeling a little tired and was wondering if she could take Damn, bro. Just like that? We all about to die a slow, painful death. There's not a planet in our solar system that could sustain life in the nearest stars over a thousand years away. I mean, that doesn't even qualify as futile. We need a pilot, and this is the mission that you were trained for. Shoot, and I'm not like really in tune when it comes to science and space, stuff like that. I know that right now they're just now talking about doing something with Mars. So I wonder why they can't really go to Mars. Mostly small distortions to our instruments in the upper atmosphere. But of all these anomalies, the most significant is this, out near Saturn. A wormhole is not a naturally occurring phenomenon. Someone placed it there. You sent probes into that? It's amazing what Matthew McConaughey has been able to do with his whole career, rejuvenating himself a few times. And uh, that's one of the things that you gotta do when it comes to being in the entertainment industry. Even like me, myself, you know, you gotta find different ways to rejuvenate yourself and change, evolve. And what he's been able to do in the movies that he's been in has just been inspirational. Amazing, bro. Like I, I loved all the movies that he's been in after his whole rom-com run. I haven't seen every single one, but I, I've seen a couple of them where I was like a real big fan of the McConaughey when it was going on. And one system shows promise. And one, that's a bit of a long shot, isn't it? Entire facilities is centrifuge. Some kind of vehicle. Within 30 years, we could have a colony of hundreds. The real difficulty with colonization is genetic diversity. Now, I know when it comes to movies like this and science fiction, there are a lot of people who are scientists themselves are real big into science where um, the type of terms that they'll be saying in, this, in these movies, if it isn't like the correct term or whatever, it kind of like annoys those kind of people. So I wonder if uh, they did a real good job with this movie with a lot of those terms. We farmers, we sit here every year when the rains fail and we say, next year this world's a treasure donald has been telling us to leave for a while now so it looked like they wanted some miracle farmers how the hell are we supposed to farm if the <laughs> grow and if the earth won't help us when it comes to growing stuff i need to fix this before i go i'll keep it broken so you have to stay after you kids came along your mom she said something to me i never quite understood look at this it says stay why you're not listening it says stay bro you should listen i, I would listen especially we've been studying this whole thing together and if she has figured out the whole thing decrypted it i'll be like oh for real she Hey, I'm gonna tell him then, uh... Near a black hole, time's gonna change for me. It's gonna run more slowly when we get back. We're gonna compare. Don't make me leave like this, Murph. There's some good acting in this scene right here, and I love the music as well. It's just a powerful scene. How'd it go? I'm fine. Trouble safe, eh? <laughs> oh, I love this music. Six, two, one. Beautiful acting right there and a beautiful shot. Everybody good? Plenty of slaves for my robot colony? A giant, sarcastic robot. <laughs> That's my humor right there, but I think it might annoy other people, him being a smart ass. Deactivate Pro Beater 1 and 2 and 3. Check. Oh, that's amazing what they did right there. There's no sound. And I like the audio from them talking from their astronaut suits, bro. See, a lot of freaking directors, they wouldn't even pay attention to something like this. They would still have like some type of sound going on or whatever, have some type of music playing. They just said, we want people to sit here in silence. And we're out here in space where it is silent. Okay, taking control. Approaching module port, 500 meters. 
saying like those gotta be some of the hardest things to do like writing being a composer so many other things when it comes to making a film like being able to know exactly what to create for a certain movie to bring in the tone my goodness Yo, whoever did the set design as well, bravo. All right, we're all set. Hey, you okay? Yeah. You all right? Mm. Desperate for a rock it can cling to while it catches its breath. We need to find that rock. Laura started a biology program. Mm -hmm. I guess one of the reasons why they got water in there just to keep water in the system or something, or is it part of like a freezing process? And they all knew the odds against ever seeing another human being again. Hoping we can surprise at least three of them. Oh, just remember, Coop, you are literally wasting your breath. Counter-orbital slingshot around. 14 months to Saturn. Nothing has changed on that. Let me ask you something. Why are you whispering? They can't hear you. <laughs> you just had to make sure, bro. Uh, Dad's about to go down for the long nap. So I wanted to give you an update. I really hope you guys are doing, doing great. Man, I could not do something like this, bro. I'd be so scared. Like, how do you even have a guarantee that you're going to have a safe travel to wherever you're trying to go? How do you not know you're not going to crash into an asteroid accidentally or an asteroid is going to crash into you? This gets to me, Cooper. This. This. Millimeters of aluminum. That's it. And then nothing out there for millions of miles won't kill us in seconds. We're explorers, right? Huh? <laughs> that boy looking like, how the hell is that supposed to help me? <laughs> <laughs> we will receive images from the other side of the foreign galaxy. I like swinging a periscope around. Guys, looks like we'll be approaching the wormhole in about three hours. Into two dimensions, which turns a wormhole into two dimensions, a circle. I wonder if we've actually seen any real wormholes. Oh, damn, what the hell? Did you just go outside the wormhole? How do you, what, what the hell just happened? What is that? It's No! What was oh, that? that was so cool. The boy got wop ba ba loo ba wop bamboo. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? It's what we're calling them, the black hole. Miller's and Dr. Mann's planets both orbit it. And Miller's is, is on the horizon? Oh, it was a basketball around a hoop. Landing there takes us dangerously close, and the black hole that big has a huge gravitational pull. Every hour we spend on that planet will be seven years back on Earth. That's relativity, folks. And did y'all figure that out from there, or y'all figured that out from the other pilots that maybe went to this planet? We need to think about time as a resource, just like oxygen and food going down, there's going to cost us. Instead of taking the endurance into orbit around Miller's planet, we get our samples, we come back, we analyze, we debrief, we're in, we're out, we lose a little fuel, but we save a whole lot of time. Man, I would not want to do something like this, bro. This is very risky. Like, let's literally just go to a different planet. Very graceful. No, but very. That was tactful. Seven years per hour here. Let's make it count. It's a water planet. Like, what do y'all think y'all gonna do on a water planet? What could we do on a water planet, bro? This is dangerous. I, as soon as I would've saw it's all water, I'd be like, man, let's turn around. We can't do nothing here. Where's the mountains? The waves. Ah, oh, man. As soon as I would have said their waves, like, turn around, bro. Like, or maybe you should pilot and fly closer to them so they don't have to waste time running back. Oh! Go, go, go. It's like, bro, this epic music right here for things that aren't even really epic, but it seemed like it is. That's what you get for staring. You should have been got on the ship. Oh my God, bro, that is a nightmare, man, being in them big, huge waves. All 
All right, to be honest with you, I'll say that this is his fault because me, I would have got that ship started and would have went and picked the asses up. Hey, this problem. Too waterlogged. Let it drain. God damn it! Hey, someone's down. Forty-five to an hour. <laughs> damn. This stuff of life, huh? So y'all probably been here for like three, four hours. Time is relative, okay? It, it can stretch and it can squeeze, but they can't run backwards. Just can't, right? The only thing that can move across dimensions like time is gravity. But you knew about relativity. Man, this data better be worth it. I'm glad that she took accountability, but still, this data better be worth it. And we just lost a crew member because of this mistake. By now it must be. It's 23 years, four months, eight days. But I was prepared. I knew the theory. I knew. Reality's different. That's like three and a half hours. Um. Oh, I met another girl, Dad. I. uh... Did he get nominated for this role here? I don't even remember. But Murphy still grabbed his car. <laughs> she crashed it. She's okay though. Hey, Dad. Oh, damn. His name's Jesse. I kind of wanted to call him Coop, but Lois says, uh... Yo, just pretty much just miss your whole kid's life like that, bro. Like, that is, that is heartbreaking. Say bye-bye, Grandpa. Bye-bye, Grandpa. Okay. Sorry, it's been a while. It's, uh... Just... Bye. Damn, the music just stopped as soon as he turned that off. That is... Nice. Jessica Chastain with her fine self. You son of a bitch. I never made one of these when you were still responding because I was so mad at you for leaving. You once told me that when you came back, we might be the same age. Mm. And today, Damn. You were when you left, it <laughs> would be a real good time for you to come back. Dang, she just shot that one too. Oh man. See, like this is one of the things that I was wondering how my reaction would be to this part. Cause like I seen this part when I was a kid, but I never really cried that much. Like even I, I wasn't like fully on crying. Like you would see me with Pixar or whatever, but like seeing this now older, and understanding a, a lot more things, seeing a, a whole new perspective on certain stuff, like it, it really got me emotional. We've done well in the world here. Whether or not we crack the equation before I kick the bucket. Don't be morbid, Professor. I really saw on Rotten Tomatoes, this movie has like a 74%. I wonder why that is. Are you calling my life's work nonsense, Murph? No, I'm saying that you've been trying to finish it with one arm. No, with both arms tied behind your back. You just now noticed this? How long you been looking at that board? Can we take this point up at another time? I want to talk to my daughter. Stepping out into the universe. Shoot. And that's the last time they see him alive. Of interstellar travel. <laughs> I didn't think they were going to say the title. That boy rolled off into the distance like blue in Temptations. We no longer have the fuel to visit both prospects, so we have to choose. I really believe Edmonds is the better prospect. Why? We should vote. Well, if we're going to vote, there's something you should know. Well, if they're talking about the data is more promising, they need to go to that one. She's in love with Wolf Edmonds. Is that true? Yes. And that makes me want to follow my heart. Oh, hell no, nah, bro. We're dealing with science and equations, all this type of stuff. We can't be dealing with emotions right now, bro, and feelings. When I say that love isn't something we invented, it's observable, powerful. It has to mean something. Love has meaning. Yes. Being child. It definitely had more meaning 23 years ago. <laughs> Come on, you're making more ex mistakes. Maybe it's some evidence, some artifact of a higher dimension that we can't consciously perceive. I'm Trinity from the Matrix. Why are we talking about love right now when we need to be talking about what planet to go to? Dimensions of time and space. Maybe we should trust that even if we can't understand it yet. And so all we got to eat is corn and his his wife is alive. Hey, that's cool. Hey, I hope y'all season this right. Okay. Your father. 
would come back. Damn, man. Like, come on. It's like so many people are bringing in these masterful performances. Like, I've seen Michael Caine in a lot of movies. I haven't seen him acting like this. There, there was no need for him to come back. No way to help us. So you sent them off on a suicide mission? All these people in the equation. It's all bullshit? And you say this on your deathbed? Hey, they got a poster. Oh shit, I forgot Matt Damon was in this movie, bro. This dude just cannot stay out of space. Stay on the ground. I would love to solve this problem right now, but unfortunately, my balls are frozen. <laughs> just how good it can be to see another face. I had a lot of hope to begin with, but after so long, I had none. I guess instead of calling him the Martian, you call him the Iceman. This is the ice planet. You have literally raised me from the dead. You know, in our present situation, there's, there's very little chance of rescuing any others. The days are 67 hours long, cold. Damn. The nights are 67 far colder hours. Damn. No. No, he needs a human touch. Dr. Brand, Case is relaying a message for you from his home station. Dr. Brand, I'm sorry to tell you that your father died today. He had no pain. Damn, Brand. And they all up in your business, too. Is that Murph? She's grown. Brand, did you know? He told you, right? This was all a sham. He left us here. Did my father know, too? <laughs> Dad? Did he know? Cause he looking like he knew, or maybe he's just like in shock, you know, trying to understand this whole thing. My father dedicated. Yeah, yeah, he in shock. Plan A, I have no idea what she's talking about. I do. I knew you would know, Matt Damon. Been dragging us off the gravity equation for 40 years. The equation couldn't reconcile relativity with quantum mechanics. The laws of nature prohibit a naked singularity. Probably is that true. If a black hole is an oyster, then the singularity is the pearl inside. Damn, you knew too. Your father had to find another way to save the human race from extinction. Plan B, to save the species instead of themselves or their children. Mm, you know, you're right about that. You know, people cannot come together to save their damn life, bro. Like we can see the stuff going on right in our very eyes, bro. Right now, all this BS and nobody's coming together. You know, the incredible sacrifice is being made by the people on earth they are gonna die. This is hopeless. No, no, we are the future. Damn, so there's only, wait, wait, huh? Bro, that's the straight dirty. How are you going to start a colony? You got three men, one woman. That's messed up. Don't. Kane's the same as ever. Yeah, but isn't that exactly what Professor Brand was manipulating? <laughs> it would be funny if it was people just standing in front of the car just throwing dirt. <laughs> just throwing it out of a bucket. <laughs> this is good. This is good. I have a suggestion for your return journey. Gargantua is an older spinning black hole. Okay, then. But you're gonna need a long range transmitter. Got it. Look like he got a mustache and a goatee. That emotion is at the foundation of what makes us human. What does research tell us is the last thing you're gonna see before you die? Hopefully, it's not your face. Man, look at this. How can we build a colony with this? He just. Hey, buddy, watch. Why? Why would you do that? They can't stay here anymore. You have to leave right now. Okay, let me let me make something abundantly clear. You have a responsibility. <laughs> okay, that was disrespectful right there. You know, especially with that tone of voice. Like, you should not have walked up to him like that. You saved all the data. <sighs> yes. Yes. <laughs> what the heck is man? Get your weird self away from me. Listen, if you're not gonna go, let your family go. Just like save your family. His dad couldn't do it. Dad didn't 
even try it. Dad just abandoned us. Bro, why are you so freaking angry all the time? You was so negative when you was a kid too. Like, what's up? It must be the fact that he lost his mom. Those are the best thoughts I've had in years. <laughs> He was never tested like I was. Human habit. Bro, I don't understand why you did that though. The dude just went crazy. Oh my goodness, bro. That looked like Inception right there. Is it like really closing in? Yo, they got so much going on. <laughs> Part of the movie. This data makes no sense. Damn, just like that, bro. The dude really set up a bomb. Dr. Brand, Cooper, there's been an explosion. Why can not you just leave with us, bro? I'm so confused about that, but I know some people are like, bro, it's, it's real simple. I'm sorry. If he takes control of that ship, we're dead. He doesn't know the endurance docking procedure. Well, the autopilot does. Not since Taurus disabled it. Boy, so damn stupid and weird and crazy. Man, the fact that they turned the brother into a villain is messed up. Auto docking sequence withheld. Override. Unauthorized. Do not attempt docking. I repeat, do not attempt docking. Yo, I'm so happy that I'm watching this movie again, man. Like, this dude Hans Zimmer did such a great job setting the tone for this movie here. I like how the uh, astronaut suit he got somewhat looks like the one he was wearing in The Martian because it was white and orange. Dr. Man, do not, I repeat, do not open the hatch. I repeat, do not open the hatch. If you open the hatch, the airlock will depressurize. This dude is on a mission, bro. He is determined to do whatever he's trying to do that I don't know what that is. What happens if he blows the airlock? Nothing good. For Cooper's life, this is about all mankind. There is a moment. <laughs> That's the moment. Damn, that was your moment. That has to be probably one of the most perfect cutoffs I've ever seen. Bro, I love this song right here, bro. This is my favorite song throughout the whole movie. I, I forget the correct term, because I know it's not piano. I think it starts with an O or something. I forget. The organ or something? Bro, they was killing it. I even watch people do like imitations of it and stuff on YouTube. Charge man with the retro thrusters. It's not possible. No, it's necessary. That boy want to go home, bro. I want to go home, mama. Dude, how did you just get into a line like that? It's so crazy. This is no time for caution. <laughs> hey, I like how uh, almost every song they say the name of the song. 10 feet out. Cooper. We are lined up. Initiating spin. Ooh, boom. I forgot what was the first song I've heard of Hans Zimmer, but it was just like ever since then, bro. It had to be something else. I mean, like, I understand he did Lion King and stuff, but like I'm talking about when I first acknowledged him and I knew that he did the score. Come on, Tars. the choir in this shit <laughs> just hearing this stuff in the headphones bro is so freaking epic there's only like a couple songs that i'll listen to when i'm like driving to make you feel like i'm a badass or something it's, it's like this and then the mad mac brothers to arms song Man, this whole time i thought case was about to get taken out too because all i remember from this movie was tars i didn't remember they had two robots navigational hub has been completely destroyed we don't have enough life support to make it back to Earth, but I think we can scratch our way to Edmund's planet. Manually? That's what I'm here for. It's a great shot yeah, right there. It's just so messed up how this whole thing backfired. 
Once we've gathered enough speed around Gargantua, the lander's linkages have been destroyed, so we'll have to control manually. Oh my god, that is beautiful. Yo, how many times have I said the word beautiful in this freaking reaction, man? Now, I did hear that we don't really have any real footage or image of a black hole. Or I think like we just got one last year or something. So like when it came to this movie, they had to improv, you know? See you there, Slick! Wonder how long he can survive, man. Ranger 2, prepare to detach. What? No, no! You told me we had enough resources for both of us. We agree to that. 90%. I know y'all could have found a way to stretch it out. Why would you just let her be out there by herself? Come on, man. Port side, dipping down beneath it. Ah! Dang, I forget all about this, man. I was so invested into what they had going on in space. I can't believe you actually did that in a black hole. Yeah. <laughs> oh my lord. This dude is like inside of a planet. So I guess with all of them going into the black hole, they all went into like different parts whatever it's not a guarantee that y'all all can go to the same place <laughs> dang so he finds out that he was the ghost all along no 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 Mark! Mark! no no <laughs> Dang, so that's all you can see no matter where you go. If you're leaving, just go. Mars, Mars. Man, you probably was gonna die maybe within the same time frame that you've been gone anyway. Make him stay, Merv. Don't let me leave, Merv. Dang, man, this dude's acting has been on point this whole movie. Hey, Merv. <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> TikTok like really changed this whole damn thing up, man. I saw a TikTok a dude, he was acting like he was in Matthew McConaughey's point of view, watching himself doing TikTok dances and wearing skinny jeans. <laughs> How did you figure that out? Was any of y'all like hoping that we would see some aliens in this movie? You've seen that time is represented here as a physical dimension. Gravity, to send a message. Affirmative. Who do they have as the voice actors for Tars and Case? They didn't bring us here to change the past. Oh, they didn't bring us here at all. We brought ourselves. It's like everything he says just sounds like a motivational quote. It's not a ghost. I guess this is probably when a lot of people started to get lost on the movie. It was like, you know, you're losing me, but me, I'm still invested in it. I'm gonna find a way to tell Murph, just like I found this moment. How, Cooper? The love, Tar's love. It's just like Brand said. My connection with Murph, it is quantifiable. It's the key. What are we here to do? Damn, I mean, well, she did a very scientific explanation on love, so uh, hey, I'll believe it. Watch. The watch. That's it. She will. She will. Dang, so if she would have came back like sooner, they would have had to answer way before then. How do you know? I 
would even know that that's Morse code looking at that. I'm like, what? What changed his mind? Like, I thought he was about to hit y'all or something. And like, what made him want to believe you too? So is that thing like on repeat? How do you not know that you like became late with the message? Girl look like Bob Ross. <laughs> I thought you get it yet, Tars. They're not beings. They're us. What? What a twist. What I've been doing for Murph, they're doing for me. For all of us. People couldn't build this. What the hell? What? <laughs> well, how would they know about what? what? Um, okay. Well, I guess with them being fourth and fifth dimensional beings, they are like all seeing and stuff. So, what? <laughs> Get the huh? So, this dude, wait. So, he's in so many different places in time right now. Let's take it slow, sir. Nice and easy, Mr. Cooper. Remember, you're no spring chicken anymore. Actually, you are 124 years old. Yeah, I'm surprised that they know about him. The station isn't named after you, sir. It's, uh, it's named after your daughter. Although she's always maintained just how important you were. And she's still alive. She'll be here in a couple weeks. Well, you got a clean house, clean windows. Hasn't seen that in years. It's a power source for shop, but we could get you another one if you want. Hey, Tars! I don't care much for this. Pretending we're back where we started. I want to know where we are. <laughs> that sounds like some improv that he would say. And I'm just going to ask that too. Like, what lines in this movie were improv? Yeah, they all came out to see her. She's been in cryo sleep for almost two years. <laughs> Bro, I would be in such shock. I, I would instantly be in tears, man. I wouldn't be able to speak. You told him I like farming. Mm. <laughs> it was me, Mer. I wish you ghost. I know. Yeah, I know this, this is like a real emotional scene too. Some people probably was tearing up at. So this whole movie is basically like love conquers all. Love over science. Go. How do you know that she's still alive? Man, she about to turn into Matt Damon. Crazy ass. Oh, that new suit is badass, bro. In a strange galaxy. Maybe right now she's and it's the planet that they could have inhabited too. She took off her helmet. What the? I should have listened to her. Damn. So what happened to your boy and stuff? Like, how did they get caved in? At the light of our new sun. Home. See, this is one of the things I was talking about when I was a kid. I never really understood all this type of stuff. Now I understand. She got her own colony going. Damn. What the hell? So now they're gonna bring all the stations over to that planet and have everybody inhabit that planet and do whatever. How did they even get more food and stuff if all the food was dying? Uh, I, I really don't know, but yo, I'm so happy. I finally checked this movie out again. It's been so long. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this movie with me. You enjoyed the video. Please like the video share comment down below subscribe click the bell so you know uh when i upload more videos and follow me on all my social medias links will be down in the description below wow that's crazy like this whole time i never really understood the ending i just always thought it as he was going back out there to save her i would have still sat there and been there with my daughter while she passed i understand she's like no parents to see their child but i'm just like i've been away from you for so long i want to make sure that i grasp onto every single second while you're still here Wow, this mission really could have went an entirely different way if they would have listened to her. <laughs> but I understand why they didn't. I wasn't either. But I really uh, wonder how long she been out there, though. 
and how she been building all this stuff by herself I, I understand they got some things within that little like tube thing or whatever that was caved in but where did they get all the other resources unless those resources were already built and it's just her man is the one that's dead while all the other crew members are still alive unless she is like out there by herself with a robot that's one of the things that christopher nolan does he wants to keep it up for interpretation i would have loved for them to make a sequel but i know how a lot of people are when it comes to stuff like this it definitely wouldn't have lived up to this first one all right everybody there we go with interstellar i know there's like so many other movies that i like to check out that i've already seen before and just to share it with y'all and bring like some new commentary see it through new adult eyes so many movies like this one right here i was seeing things that i was not catching the first time around uh especially that ending a lot of the emotional scenes i wasn't really getting all that when i watched it as a kid i would actually go ahead and give this movie here in a i just love christopher nolan he's like my favorite director of all time I, I know there's so many other directors that get like some better movies or whatever but like from all the movies that i've seen of him he's just been on a consistent record of amazing films i, I still want to check out his uh last two movies i don't really know about oppenheimer because like the freaking debate and discourse that he's been having when it comes to streaming services and the movie studios and stuff i just i really don't know if i want to touch that movie because that he might not like that if i was to do like a movie reaction to that and put the movie out there and stuff because uh, he really wants people to see it in the theaters and see it on blu-ray and all that and then that's when his other movie that came out tenant i still haven't seen that one i was thinking about doing a reaction on that but when i did a lot of the analysis from other people i saw that it doesn't really get a lot of traction like that so i'm, I'm still probably gonna check it out because there's like like i said so many other movies i want to check out like some james bond stuff if you like see my full reaction to this movie other movies i do tv shows i do you can click the link down below in the description to my patreon i, I absolutely love the acting here the soundtrack was fucking phenomenal and the directing of course was amazing like this dude christopher nolan just is a all-around goat bro like they brought everybody together to make sure this movie was an absolute legendary film like you got han zimmer and christopher nolan which already is an amazing duo like i don't think you can top any other duo i understand people are gonna bring up steven spielberg and john williams and i'm just like eh, whatever <laughs> he's like me it's christopher nolan and hans zimmer bro i loved all the scientific talk that they had going on here i love the effects I, I know they had like a lot of practical effects in here and they was doing a lot of stuff that seemed real especially like the zero gravity stuff when it came to the whole time aspect and relativity and all that and the different dimensions that was pretty cool i really do wonder if there's like aliens in this universe and i'll say that the whole ending of the movie was kind of lacking at points but it all wrapped itself up together very nicely especially with the whole uh anne hathaway part like to see her actually going into that black hole and then end up landing on the planet that she wanted to go on in the first place i thought was actually pretty cool man but with all that being said i'll see y'all in the next one all right peace